Well, I missed that one, but I you was You always missed my tweets. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you told me it meant something. Right? You said you'd retweet me. <laughs> <laughs> you know the wow. deal. Oh. No retweets, no sex. But... <laughs> no sex. <laughs> no long distance phone sex. <laughs> yeah. And Kobe Bryant goes and moves what three thousand miles away and plays for the Lakers. Yeah. It's weird. He grew up in Italy, apparently. He speaks fluent Italian. That's probably oh, where Italians. Uh, right. That's now probably where his treatment of women comes from. <laughs> For hating the guy so much, you really know a lot about him. <laughs> but I, it's only because I played the NBA games a lot, so they, they mention it a lot, like all these sort of stats. I mean, obviously, I knew about the rape thing because that was in the news, but um, <laughs> I haven't hit classy. any animals for quite some time, actually. I um, well, that's good. You shouldn't hit animals, douchebag. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't be aiming for them. domestic violence against animals. We're going to hear, see another one of those commercials with the shaky animals. Like, this dog was beaten by Scott. You Nash. killed Cecil, didn't you? Yeah. You killed Cecil. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, I oh, really ever um, think about that. About what? what? Beating animals. About Cecil thing? Oh. I think they oh, gave it a cute or... name, so now it's bringing awareness. But if it didn't have a cute name, no one would give a fuck. I think if it, it, if it transpired that, that that line had killed someone as well, I, I think people give zero fucks what name it is. Um, you could call it fucking Ronald McDonald if it killed Ooh. someone, nobody would have cared. I'm loving uh, it. <laughs> Lion kills man <laughs> in terror. That'd be the headline, and then the next day no one would care. But I think it's to... I, I'll admit one thing, and this is all I'm going to say about it, because I don't want to get too political again. <laughs> oh god, I hate but... it. politics. <laughs> And no, I do. I, I, I think, like, I mean, I only heard about this through social media because I'm not a big uh, fan of the news. I'm not allowed no. to watch it. Um, but so uh, I, I just recently, this is such bad luck on my part. I just recently started using um, Facebook again. Now, I did a massive um, friends call list. Is that what it's called? When you culling, just call it culling. Culling, yeah, culling. When you go through your list and delete everybody that's unimportant or whatever. So now yeah. it's brilliant because I'm not being spammed by everybody going, "Hey, here's my baby today, tomorrow, and every other day. Here's pictures. Look at them." <laughs> so that's get brilliant. Get pedophiles off Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, yeah, it was all good. There was like some friends posting some random shit, which I was like, yeah, fair enough. We'd get on Twitter anyway. And then all of a sudden, there was just like floods and floods of these people of like, oh, share this if you agree with this, and like this if you think this was wrong. And it was all to do with this animal killing thing. And so I looked a little bit into it. And I, okay, so some dude killed a lion and like was boasting about it, or whatever. And, and I was literally like, whoopsie fucking do who gives a fuck now obviously if you're against it fine but the amount of attention and everything that it's got through social media facebook and everything doesn't mean or change a fucking thing it will hit the news for like two weeks and then the story will die and all these facebook like the lion would have done anyway <laughs> yeah and all these posts and everything are literally just the usual attention thing of like, oh, my, I, my, I posted this and I got two and a half million likes. Woo, go me! And it's like, fuck off. Mm. Most of the social media bullshit is for self-attention, nothing to do with the topic in place, which is what mm. pisses me off and what drove me away from Facebook in the first place. And I kind of wanted to again this time round. I, it kind of drove me away from mm. it because I was just like, the, everyone that I follow on Twitter. There was a couple of people that um, retweeted a couple of things because uh, Ricky Gervais is quite an anti-animal killer type person, uh, so a couple of people yeah it doesn't do anything for charity things. for animal. Yeah, but that was it. So Cut. Twitter's all good. But Facebook, it was just like it was basically it was um, feed after feed. It was just like people retweeting all this animal stuff, and I was just like, it's it's done and it's done and dusted. Sadly. There's n all the all mm. this bullshit does nothing and changes nothing, and people don't seem mm. to get that. But everyone feels that they have to have a fucking voice about it, and I'm literally mm. I don't I couldn't care less one way or the other. I hate, I know it sounds mm. like really cool, but I'm with you, Craig. I'm just like if that line had killed someone, then 
That would be all over everybody the news would, for a couple everybody of days. Everybody would be calling for its head. Say, well, yeah. same as shark attacks. Literally. Someone gets someone yeah. gets attacked by an animal, it hits news after 24 hours or 48 hours, it's forgotten about. Hmm. And well, now they've got like this story and... Sorry, yeah, go on. The lion... Yeah, what I was going to say was that the lion was an alpha male, right? So, do you know how alpha male lions come about? How they become alpha males? Because they kill all the babies. Do you know how they do it? Yeah. Yes, they kill all the babies of their rival male lions. So and now he was lions 13 can years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it's 13. It's 13 years he'd been doing that. So imagine how many lion, ba baby lions he'd killed in his lifetime. Hundreds, mm. hundreds easily. Um, and yet people will, like give him a cute name and then oh, he still got beheaded by some some dentist from Iowa. Like you know, it's just I don't know if he's from Iowa. I just made that bit up. <laughs> but I know he's a dentist, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but the, the thing is, it really pisses me off. Like Rick, Ricky Gervais, I really, I really, really hate that guy. If I get to meet him ever, I'm gonna punch him in the face for being a charlatan and a fraud. That guy's a twat. I can't stand him. He said something really stupid, like, um, "Oh, a living animal is more beautiful than a baby, like a newborn baby." And I'm like, "What the fuck are you on about, you weirdo?" <laughs> it's like I'm team people ask, so. Fucking lion comes anywhere near me, I'm killing it. Like, it will fuck me up. You put me in a room with that lion, he's not gonna sit there and play play nicely with me. He's not gonna roll over and let me rub, rub his belly. He's gonna try and fucking kill me. So, it's one of those things. If he'd um, killed, I don't know, if he'd killed like a non threatening animal, let's say he killed a deer, okay? Not, which I'm sure Keith probably sees quite a lot where he lives. Oh, yeah. Um, they're like, you know, they're like fucking then rodents. I can maybe understand it to a degree. Yeah, there's loads of them, isn't there? There's loads of them. Um, did but, you just see that guy kill yeah, himself? No. Like... See, this is the thing. Like, I, I, this is the thing that, like, kind of, like, I find really bizarre. Um, is that a lot of people and I, I, Keith, like, um, hit me in a second with a segue change because I got a really great subject after this. Okay. That's not political at all. Uh, <laughs> oh, awesome. but like, uh, now, Craig, you know me. I'm a, I'm a. Shawn Michaels is one of my childhood heroes. Keith, you probably know who he is, right? Mm. Of course you do. And he <laughs> rescuing yeah. hostages. Yeah, after he um uh, quit wrestling and stuff, he um he's part of this TV show where they go and they hunt deer and stuff like that. Now, like mm -hmm. a lot of people, they're against this lion hunting because they've. I and I think it's because they've just been given like this little bit of information of like, oh, it's so bad for lions because of X, Y, and Z, when that's not like actually the case. But they're okay, with, and all these people, a lot of people that have objected against this, actually follow Shawn Michaels and um, like love his show of like hunting animals with the crossbows and the shit that he uses to hunt them with. So it's really contradictory, and I think a lot of people have literally lost their way. And just this is why I think, as I said earlier on, this whole thing's just blown out of proportion, and everybody needs to needs to chill the fuck out. It's like, yes, this lion's dead. Whether it was right or wrong, it doesn't matter at this point because it's done with. This guy has already been humiliated. He's had his house, like, um, uh, what's the word? When somebody vandalized or something. Vandalized, yeah. He's had his house vandalized over it and all sorts. And all because of social media and the news. When he was, mm. he went to a country that legally allows him to do that sort of activity. So. Mm. I see both sides of the story, but regardless, I think it's blown out of proportion. Like Craig says, if it had been like an alligator or a shark, I think it would be a completely different story. It's literally, they will make out, oh, a defenseless lion, fuck off. There's no such thing as a defenseless lion. lion. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, so it's a 300 pound animal, animal that's going to fuck you up. <laughs> Yeah, Eat and I don't face. care if you kill them from 1,500 <laughs> meters away with a sniper, it doesn't work like that. So, yeah, that, that, that's my piece, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're like, trust the creators they know what they're doing because everyone's like oh the DC's taking forever and this is a problem like Marvel's pumping out film after film that is sadly just getting worse and worse as the franchise seems to go on um, 
I think it started off kind of weak and then it kind of got better, but I kind of feel like it's lacking again. And I'm being not being biased at that point. That Sounds like, like sex after be... drinking. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like I mean, I'm, me, me personally. I mean, I, 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 I kind of like tend to ignore what everyone else says because my opinions are different. Just look at my, my, my views of the Iron Man films compared to everyone else's. Ooh. I think all the films started off slow and were crap. And then around about the time of Avengers, they all got better, and then they've all kind of got crap again. But, uh, you, you know, the DC side of things, everybody's like bitching, why have they not done it, why have they delayed it, yada yada yada. But, and there was only a few of us that were pro Ben Affleck for Batman, because we were just like, they know what they're doing, trust us. The first picture came out, and suddenly all those haters were like, holy shit, he looks amazing! And then they started bitching about the Batmobile, but then that quickly died down as well. And now we've getting these reports through that saying that um, they got standing ovations for the film through the screen testing that they, they've done. It's a, an outstanding film, and uh, and and they've cast Ben for like yeah all these Batman films. So I think that's uh, awesome news. Fuck everybody who doubted him. But that was all also rumors well, though too. I confirmed. believe I said on your podcast ages ago, Scott, about it, saying we should give him a chance. I do remember saying yeah. that, in fact. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, I was you, very, me very and much Sean both like continually said that. We said, just like, yeah. they, you got to like trust the producers. They know what they're doing at the end of the day. I'm, I'm not being funny. Ben Affleck's got this reputation for making bad films. I think it's a little bit unjust, because he's been in a lot of very good films. Goodwill Hunting won, uh, won an um, Academy Award. Um, it's got multiple. See, this is again where I disagree with a lot of people because I love most of his films, and people would like stick their nose up at things like Jersey Girl and Pearl Harbor, but I love those films too. Not the films themselves, but like his performance in them, I think they're amazing. I loved it. I loved Argo. Argo is great. I love that film. Um, he did mm. really well in that. Um, so I, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna be bad at all. The only problem I might have is that there might be something an issue I'll have with the plot or something like that. I don't think, I don't think there's any of the casting that I, I I don't like. There's nothing about the casting I dislike at all. Um, I even like Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I really like that. It's a different take on it. Um, and more to the point, Diane Lane is back in it again for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> he just shoot you right in the yeah, dick. Yeah, I'm much more Amy. <laughs> What's her name then? <laughs> Amy Adams, I'm much more Amy Adams, I'm pro Amy Adams. Anything she's in, I'm well there. <laughs> oh, whatever. She's I don't know who that is, but Diane fun. Lane, right? <laughs> Lois Lane. She's the ginger Hello? bird. She's the ginger bird. Pulitzer Prize winning yeah, yeah. reporter, come on. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, she she is hot. She ain't no Diane Lane, but, um, yeah, she's hot. Adam's oh, girlfriend yeah. reminds me a little bit of her, actually. A fact he's well known about, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think. The Otherwise, that'd be weird. <laughs> the lady who played Lana but no, Lang I in thought, Smallville. I great, is the but best. No, I oh yeah, yeah. Oh, what's what, the Canadian girl? Yeah, I don't know her name. Redhead. Canadian woman. I know the, the chick that played from. Lois Lane in the first Superman film. No, no, no. Uh, Lana Lang no, in no, no, Smallville. No, Smallville. No, oh, Chris. Kristen Kruick. Couldn't stand her. Love her face. Yeah, it's Christ Kristen Kruick or something like that. Um. Half Asian, half something else. She was really annoying. Every episode, it was just her crying. That sounds like. <laughs> I can't. Women. I can't stand TV shows where all they do, literally, for ages, is just like cry. They need more feminine and, power. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I got to admit, going back old school, I got um, uh, after a while, they kind of stopped it pretty quickly, I guess, when it got annoying. But even like with Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, they had this whole thing like season two slash three with Buffy, so much Geller, where like uh, this whole obsession with Angel, and every time his name is mentioned, she would either get angry and upset, or she would just end up crying. It's just like. Sort your fucking shit out. <laughs> but that's like, you know, that's what you do in TV. You cry about it. And that was my problem with Lois Lane. She, she was attractive to start off with, I'll give you that. But after, like, you know, four seasons of her just, like, crying and forgetting stuff because of the constant concussions after being conveniently knocked out to not spoil Superman's identity, uh, it just got a bit boring. But I love Smallville. 
And the chick that <laughs> plays Clark Kent's mum uh, in it, the redhead, she's awesome as well. Maybe I got a thing for Clark Kent's mum, I don't know why. You just want to bang <laughs> Superman's mom and be like, say you were there. Ah. No, you just want to go to uh, Superman going, who's your daddy? That's what we want. That's what we want <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Dude, I just heard no, the best... She was best hot in Smallville as well, because the chick that played his mom in Smallville actually played Lois Lane in Superman 2, I think it was. Or 3, I can't remember. So, it was a nice little connection to throw back. But she, like Diane Lane, just got... Like wine got better with age. Anyway, you like or manky, ben Affleck, like vinegar. Batman, right? <laughs> oh, dude. Have you guys seen this? <laughs> it's a great film. Oh, Carl dear. Reese gets to like grab them. Like, I mean, have you guys ever had like that kind of sex where you just like you grab knuckles and your knuckles go white? I usually don't see my knuckles. I have never. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. The, the video camera doesn't pick it up either. Uh, oh boy. Uh, I've, I've, ne I've never like as awesome as it looks sometimes. I've never quite grasped this whole 1980s, 1990s love making movie scenes thing. Because I'm just like nobody has sex like that. Not even love making. Love making is still fucking. It's not slow moving. You guys have had that, right? Everything I've learned, I've learned from porno. <laughs> oh, okay, so not <laughs> Linda Hamilton in Terminator 1. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all my moves. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Might be out of my depth there. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. All right, okay, I'm joining. Right, so yeah, speaking of Linda Hamilton and her boobs in Terminator 1, that takes me to... Late childhood memories and alone in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there is that. Shall we, do you want me to talk about that? Yes. <laughs> my breathing, my breathing techniques. My yelling, I scream a lot. Um, what, as standard or during sex? Both. Uh, uh, yeah, gotcha. Oh, I killed Ebola. I. <laughs> what? That's his name. <laughs> it's a rather bold claim to make. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You welcome Africa. I'm, I'm sure many scientists would be happy to understand why uh, now. <laughs> uh, if you're sending my Nobel Prize, it's in. Uh, send it to Vermont, uh, United States. America. Um. Wow. In one night during a podcast, we eliminated Ebola. <laughs> this is true. I probably have contacted it just as well as eliminated that one, but it's all good. Well, Ebola would be quite easy to get rid of. solve that for you. <laughs> we, we, can, we, can, we can solve the problem with Ebola, no problem. It doesn't have we anything to do with the rash by my testicle, on right? the planet. We take every nuclear weapon on the planet. And then we just nuke Africa. Job done. <laughs> AIDS, Ebola, everything gone overnight. No more lions to get killed. Um, <laughs> oh, back to the lions. Humanitarian. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. We've been slapping these guys with our dicks. I'm not sure how good that feels. Yeah. Okay, serious question to you guys. Think carefully. Who would you really go for between like Catwoman, Wonder Woman, and Lois Lane? Okay, well, Wonder Sexually, Woman not has in like kind of way. <laughs> a superhero clam, so that's out of the question. Like, how are you gonna do that without dying? Like, if she's having a good time, your dick's probably gonna fall off. No, no, no not <laughs> fighting sexually. Bitch. No, I'm saying sexually. If you're getting oh, Wonder right. Woman oh, off, okay. she's sexually. probably gonna rip your dick off accidentally. Oh, okay, well, let's scratch her out of the equation. Okay, so Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Lois Lane, uh, Poison Ivy. Um, Poison Ivy's uh, got a very much a hands off approach. Right, so, uh, she yeah, kind of yeah, does, she doesn't she? Yeah. She's got STD written okay, all so over her. <laughs> <laughs> Catwoman, Harley Quinn. I'm pretty certain the obvious answer is going to be Harley Quinn, isn't it? 
See, I really like Wonder Woman, like how she looks, but she seems like a I am woman, hear me roar type. Karen and I were talking about this earlier. Okay, what if she, what if she was accepting to your advances? She would probably rip my dick She's off like <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's kind of going to be a, a toss-up between Catwoman and Harley Quinn then, I guess. Well, well, I could live with Catwoman nicking all my shit, but I, I got the impression that Harley Quinn might slit my throat in my sleep, so <laughs> I'll go with the one that might steal my shit. You know, I'll, I'll be alright with that. <laughs> That's a yeah. really good... Oh, dude, I, I know I was thinking, like, you would just blatantly go with Harley Quinn, but that um. makes logical sense. Of course it does, that's it. <laughs> Don't go with the... Yeah, because Catwoman's not... Um, she's not the... She's uh, not a, uh, a psychopath that's going to kill you in the middle of the night randomly and laugh about plus it. Plus, you give her something shiny, I'm sure she'd love you. So it's easy. Yeah. yeah. She's just a stereotype. Okay, so if you... you good gold dude, isn't she? <laughs> easy. Yeah, okay, but same same question, but just a one-off, one-night stand, and you get to walk away from it. Who do you then go for? Doesn't really matter for me then at that point. <laughs> doesn't, 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 really matter. <laughs> doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. No, I, 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 Wonder Woman would be right at the end of the list, just purely because I'd, I'd be okay. afraid that she might Ronda Rousey my ass and break my arm or some shit. Um, if it, if it's going to be a Wonder Woman, a Wonder, I really think they cast the wrong Wonder Woman. They should have got R Ronda Rousey to do Wonder Woman in the new Batman Superman film. Because if anybody, if there's any woman that's closer to her right now, it's her. She will fuck your shit up. <laughs> She's a fucking savage. I don't, and I know you so somewhat follow it, Scott, but she fought recently and she won inside 30 seconds. And the girl didn't even yeah. land one punch on her. It was ridiculous. One of the most one-sided fights she I've act ever though? seen. Doesn't matter. She's being Wonder Woman. <laughs> it doesn't yourself. matter. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, no, I think I think she can. I think she probably could. Cause she she's really good, like talking shit and stuff. So she seems quite quite a lot of acting comes down to confidence, and I think she would do it really well. Yeah. But she's an Olympian as well, mate. I mean, those sort of people, they yeah, they give 110 percent. Do you know what I mean? So I think that she would probably be really good at it if she could put her mind to it. I think if they dyed her hair a little bit, I think they could make Diane Lane would have been a good Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Should have made a great topless Wonder Woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she could be more like Wonder Grand, really. Couldn't she at this point? Uh, Come Wonder on, Grand. but she's a fuckable Grand. <laughs> Without sounding harsh. <laughs> okay, oh. Oh, like, let's be honest. Linda Hamilton couldn't pull off Wonder Woman, but Diane Lane probably could. Okay, I think. Uh, also, what about, um, let me throw a couple of names out there. Give them a push-up bra, maybe. Kate Beckinsale no. or Rona Mitra. I think both of those could... What? You're Kate saying Beckinsale, no Wonder I think Woman. Kate Beckinsale would be better as someone like Catwoman, I think. Because we know she looks good in leather, so she made a whole fucking <laughs> franchise of the <laughs> Right. So, um... Yeah, true. So yeah, true. That, that, that's a valid point. I could take... I could. Yeah, I could see that. I'll make a note and... Email some people tomorrow. <laughs> Kate Beckinsale for Catwoman. <laughs> um, okay, so Ronamitra, um, out of the question for Wonder Woman. I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, who else can I think of? Katy Perry. Let's start King God, Kardashian no, in the mix while we're at it. <laughs> Uh, I, well, yeah, no, she give me Wonder Woman, only if Wonder Woman gets her ass absolutely handed to her in a fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, and raped oh, yeah. and beaten and killed. <laughs> well, raped by an Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that far. Uh, so, I so can see an Ewok, like, beating her to pieces. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Plus, her okay, ass is so way too big. She couldn't get in that leotard with an ass that big. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? She, her, you remember Rikishi from WWE days? He, she, yeah. her special move would, would be the stink face. She would sit on your face. Oh and my kill you. god! There's a lot of women <laughs> I'd let them do that to me, but she's definitely not one. Not rubber ass. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh.